taking stock of extensive damage. Firefighters examine the ruins of the body line collision panel beating business gutted by flames. Looking for clues as to what may have caused the blaze. Today we're carrying out a fire investigation, so it's made up of a scene examination. At the moment we're doing external of the building uh, and then as we progress we'll start uh, making our way inside. Harrison says once investigators get inside the building they'll start determining the fire's cause in earnest. And he says they're not ruling anything out just yet. We uh, keep a very open mind when we're doing our fire investigations. Uh, it won't be until we get inside um, and actually start working our way through the debris that uh, we might be able to build a picture of what occurred last night. Another fire investigation specialist is on his way from Queenstown to assist the Dunedin crew. And Harrison estimates the initial investigation should be complete within a couple of days. We've already done an elevator view through using our aerial plants and uh, we've got some really good information from that but uh, the investigation will just continue until we uh, either find a cause or, or we can rule out uh, a range of other uh, potential ignition sources. Crews are on the scene dampening down hot spots so the investigation team can head inside the burnt out building. And while determining the cause is a priority, Harrison says it comes second to ensuring the building and surrounds are safe. Any job uh, of this size, so it was a third alarm fire, so it was a very intense, very large fire, um, you're always going to have small hotspots, so we always have a fire crew standing by and monitoring the scene to make sure that uh, we don't have a reignition of the fire. Fire crews work during the night to prevent the fire from spreading to neighbouring buildings, leaving just one business owner with the unenviable task of calling insurers. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.